Hey Central, Audrey and I want to give you an update on what's going on with our reopening plans. Uh, I know a lot of you are anxious and want to find out what's going on, so we want to give you a little uh, update of where we are today. For the past six weeks, our district superintendent has been working with pastors to help them develop plans for reopening their churches safely. Uh, and our bishop, uh, Bishop Taylor, as well as a, a COVID-19 task force, has been working on giving guidelines for opening. Uh, we have worked as a staff really hard at trying to find the safest way for open, opening, and we found a, a, developed a phased-in approach uh, in waiting for information from the bishop. That information was released on June 1st, and we're thankful for all the guidance and the work they've put into that. We've realized there are a couple things that we need to address to make sure we open safely, so we're going to need a little bit more time uh, before we reopen the church. I know when almost three months ago we were told that we couldn't meet any longer, we had to close the church. Uh, no one really knew how long that was going to be for, and little did we know that it would be almost three months. In talking to people uh, throughout these months, I know that you've missed each other, and we have missed you. I know it's been difficult not to be here at church around your friends and with people that have been a real support system to you. It's going to be different when we come back, as Scott said, and if people don't feel comfortable coming back right away, if you feel that your health might be compromised, we want you to stay at home and stay safe. Um, and then when you do feel comfortable to come back to us, we'll be here waiting for you. When we do get back uh, to worship, uh, things are gonna be a little different, and I wanna give you a heads up on that. Uh, first thing, according to our CDC guidelines and uh, guidance from our bishop, as well as our governor, uh, Governor Lee, uh, we're going to need to be wearing masks, and uh, that includes children two and above. So that will be different for all of us. Uh, we're going to need to observe physical distancing of six feet, and there'll be signs marked around the church. That will make it hard for us to greet one another, so make sure you watch that video before you attend church to greet in some different ways. Um, worship will be different. We'll have an opportunity to really think about worship as more than just music and singing, so we're going to have a different experience with that. You also need to record your attendance, so we're working on uh, ways that you can record uh, your attendance for when you come. And we're also going to not have paper, so that you'll have a digital bulletin that you can follow along with. So for some of you, this is going to be feel different uh, for worship, but I know that uh, you love one another and you're willing to sacrifice for one another. So thanks for being flexible as we navigate the times in which we're in. But even though we haven't been together physically in this building, we all know that the church is more than a building, and you've proven that. During the three months that we have been social distancing, you've still been the church. You've been buying food supplies for your neighbors. You've been checking on people, the elderly. You've picked up medical supplies for people. You've been the church to your neighbors and to the people at work. You've been making masks for them, not only protecting them, but their family. And you've continued to be central just the way you always are. Not only have you aided your community and with your workplaces and your own families, you've also helped for uh, missions. And we just sent 45 buckets off to Zen Broadway. So good work, Central. Keep being the church. We also want you to know for those who are home and, and maybe going to take a little while to come back, we're committed to providing uh, stream content of our services so you can participate that way. Also check our website. Uh, we provide some different devotionals on our Facebook page, as well as we're going to have some uh, discipleship opportunities in the summer and the fall, so uh, online. So participate in those. And if you want some additional content, please feel free to reach out to the church and we'll be glad to, to give you what you need. So thanks for joining us and just be a little bit more patient. We're going to be together soon.